Okay, this is how to make a new search scope in SharePoint 2010. So we'll go to Site Settings and then Search Scope and you should wind up on this page. And all we're going to do is click New Scope. And there's a few things to fill in here. I'm going to give this a title. We'll call this uh, Employee Handbook. So we're going to just search for things within the Employee Handbook. If you want to include this by default in the search dropdown, check this. And if you want this to be available for advanced search, check this box. And we want to use the default search results page for this search scope. But if you want to, if you want to uh, define a new search results page, you can uh, describe it here. We'll hit OK. All right. So now I've got this new unused scope down here, and it's empty because we've added no rules. So let's go add a rule. And we've got a few different options here. Web address means that you can search within a specific folder um, on a specific server or throughout a whole domain name. So for this example, I would do something like um, my site slash oh, lists slash employee handbook. And then it's going to search all of the items in that employee handbook list. Uh, or you know, you could do calendar if you've got a calendar list set up. Um, and then down here you want to either include these or so that they're part of the result because you can add multiple rules to a search scope or you want to require that these are that this that this criteria is met and then uh, or you can exclude it too so you have say you want to find all items and then add another rule that excludes everything in the calendar the second option you have is a property query uh, some of the more popular ones are by author um, or maybe uh, by the actual file name or file extension or you can also search by the job title of the person who created the article or the, the document. There's a lot of other options in here but um, you know wiki category might be useful to you uh, but these are just properties of, of uh, files of documents and then obviously we put in you know, our name here. Same options here include, require, exclude and then the third option is just a basic all content. So you'd mostly use this if you're going to create a search scope that has a couple of rules. So like I said, you could create all content and then exclude what's part of the calendar. So let's hit OK. And then once you create it, um, I've been working on this for a little while, so it's reset. But um, normally, if you're just starting creating scopes, every 15 minutes, uh, this should update. And so you'll see in about seven minutes this will update. Um, I'm going to go back in here though and I'm going to click this and I'm going to add a new rule. Um, so you can see I've got all content. Uh, it's going to include all content. And I'm going to add a new rule that uh, excludes everything uh, created by me just for the heck of it. So author Ben Tedder exclude. Great, and so you can see it's got a, it's already found huh, five things by me. So um, yeah, that's basically your search scope settings. In six minutes, it'll be ready to go, and that's all you need to do. And then all you have to do after that is go up to your search box, and if you've enabled the search dropdown, this will appear uh, right there next to the search dropdown.